what is good youtube today we are doing a video review not even a review actually uh so basically there's, there's a lawsuit going around and i'm gonna post i'm gonna I'm show ya he was chilling in his house he went to sleep and then his mans and stuff came over the girl he invited to the house she slept with the men that was there but not dj academics now I finally was able to get so we're gonna watch two videos. We're gonna watch two videos explaining what's happening. This is an hour long video, so we're gonna try to dissect this, see what's happening, but we're gonna watch the short one first to like get an understanding of what's even happening. Okay? So let's figure this out, chat. Let's figure out what is even happening. It is, bro. Let's talk about it. Academics is being accused of SE actual assault. Um, this is a crazy story, man. I got a video of a woman speaking about it. She's the alleged victim. She's speaking about the experience that she had. Um, she's also suing him for defamation for saying that his homeboys was allowed to run a train on her. Academics allegedly said that publicly. So she's suing him for defamation for saying that. I got a video of the alleged incident where Academics was accidentally on live stream. And um, people are saying that this is, if this is a real video, people are saying that Academics was on live stream and hurried up and got off because she was screaming so profusely in the background. Um, I also got a video of Academics saying that he doesn't have a problem sleeping with minors uh, as long as they're 17 years old with a college ID. I'm going to show you guys that. And ironically and sadly, um, Academics has deleted his Instagram page today or deactivated it today. So it makes him look bad. I'm going to show you guys what's going on. Check this out. So much is happening. Yo, chat, who is that yelling in the background? So, was he like in the stream, then he just left because this was happening, or. Suggested to her 
after the pool deck attack that the two men had taken her into another room in the house and continued to assault her brutally. Um, according to her, as she watched the video, she looked like she was just lying there lifeless, which did not sit right with her. This is crazy, man. Uh, you know, it says, according to text messages included in the lawsuit, uh, academics told her to get tested. So he has text messages that he sent her, or she has text messages that he sent her, where he said, get te tested, allegedly. Uh, she said she found the statement odd. Um, the suit argues that the text was proof that academics who had not slept with her for over a year engaged in unprotected intercourse with her that night. Uh, she contacted her lawyer for advice. The authorities first told her to visit the hospital and get an RAPE kit, and she did. Uh, the kit purportedly led to the discovery of traces of academic sperm. So academic sperm was found inside this woman in the kit. Um, she then spoke with authorities in person. Photographs were taken of her bruised arms, back, butt, and legs. Oh, my God. Academics, this don't look good, bro. This don't look good for you, bro. Um, it says she recorded a wire call with academics, and he, he graphically recounted and admitted to having intercourse with her even going so far to describe her vagina and private parts. Um, despite taking her allegations to the police, um, it says she chose silence per the lawsuit. Now, this is what academics said about the situation. It said the academics denied assaulting her and claimed he was asleep in his home while the two John Doe's, the men that she's accusing, allegedly assaulted her on the pool deck. Academics acknowledged the surveillance footage of the alleged attack, but he said she was getting a train ran on her by his two homies at the pool deck. The suit alleges that academics defamed her by accusing her of voluntarily having an orgy with his friends at his home while maintaining that he never participated at all. All right, man, so there you guys have it. Academics seems like he knows something about this situation is not right. Why would wait. he? Okay, wait, 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 okay. There's two minutes left, but the, like, there's the video. Wait, we're going to see it. Like, this, my brain is everywhere. Hold on. Hold on. I'm, sorry. I'm, sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Um, even in the reports. You know, it's saying that academic semen was found in the RAPE kit. It's crazy. Uh, you know, so you can't say that you wasn't involved with her because you had DNA found, bro. So that's a crazy part of the uh, investigation. I think he made himself look really guilty deactivating his IG page. Um, I don't know if he did it because he doesn't want the backlash or if there's some truth to these allegations and he doesn't want to hear about it. Um, this is just a crazy situation. We can officially say academics is OVO. Uh, just by having these allegations because you shouldn't get accused of something like this. And this is what I always tell you guys, man. If you a successful man, you need to be trying to find one woman to lock it down with. Trying That's, to live that lifestyle, bro, yeah. it's always going to end up you gotta in find a bad situation. One. You know what I mean? So this is crazy. Um, I agree, I agree, I agree. To me, it was hard to read because it doesn't seem like this woman is lying. If, she, if it comes out that she is lying or was lying, I'm going to come back and let y'all know she was a liar. But even if academics had his homeboys in his house and they did that, you know, academics is a complete civilian. He has no reason why he shouldn't turn them in if they did something like that in his house. You know, there's no, um, and honestly, even if you're not a civilian, even if you're a street dude, if somebody do something like that a civilian. and do nothing to him, you should He's turn them civilian. in. Bro. That should be unacceptable. Women, children, old people, always off limits in the streets. So it doesn't matter um, what the situation was. If they did that and academics knew about it, he should have turned them in or did something to him himself. And he's obviously not going to do nothing himself. So he should have called the police and turned them in, just being who he is. Um, you know, he should have covered his behind, if nothing else. You call the police to cover your own ass. You know what I'm saying? So this is a crazy situation. Actually, um, that he didn't do, do you that call police at all? To do you call police at involved, all? In, me, in my opinion. You know what I mean? I think, uh, you know, if you wasn't involved, you had no problem calling the police on them for that. Or at least putting a report in, hey, this girl is saying that this happened at my house. You know, I had nothing to do with that. I kicked the dudes out the house, but y'all need to go investigate that. Something. You know what I mean? Something. Um, so the fact that he didn't do anything like that lends to... Uh, okay. Good job. W video, W video, W video. Okay. So this is the first video, right? But he's a third party. And the girl and her allegations, that's what he was showing. But he's third party. So we're going to see story time with DJ Academics. This came out four months ago. All right, chat. This came out four months ago. And let's see what he says. He says his exposes his ex, um, Shay, and speaks on her trying to remove his image. Right? Hopefully, I could um, I could hear me. I'm about to, I'm about to look at it. I didn't even turn the lights on and shit. Like, let me. Yo, it's an hour. So let's try to figure this out. No, no, I don't need the light. Oh, he sound 
angsty. Yo, tap. You beat. The, he might. He might delete this soon. It came out four months ago. So let's see what. Let's see his side of the story. Nah, fuck the lighting. All right, chat. I'm gonna keep it a bean with y'all. Hey, bro. Uh, chat. So really, I'm gonna just just come clean with y'all. The reason why I was at my house like about 50 minutes ago, I had to speed here 200 miles per hour. I'm in the RS7 going crazy. Probably broke every speed law. But I gotta leave the house when there's gonna be a situation that's arising. Um, first and foremost, I'm dealing with somebody who, you know, I've been, you know, at first, and, and y'all gonna hear a very multivariable story today because y'all gonna Let's hear the First truth. Say, stand on business, DJ. And the second thing you're gonna say. Stand on business, DJ Academics. Let's see what you're talking about. Defend yourself. Let's see if you're wrong. Today we are here to figure out what the heck is going on. The actor an idiot. But I'm gonna tell y'all why I've been dealing with this. This is somebody who I feel like I've been trauma bonded to a little bit because of a situation where people were trying to run into my house and I felt she was responsible for, you know, kinda making sure it didn't happen, even though, like, it was her own friend that set the whole thing up. But also, it's it's been a whole situation where, you know, despite that, over time, like, oh, yeah, no, I ain't shit. So I ain't going to be sitting here and pretending I'm perfect or whatever. I'm a person, like, there's always going to be a problem with infidelity with a nigga like me. I'm going to keep it a bean with you. So I ain't never going to sit up here and be like, I'm the perfect, whatever, whatever. But we got a person who despite whatever that comes with me or doesn't come with me, they feel like they could threaten me with things that they believe that I would hold dearly and I would not ever expose or say or want to be known. I'm just not that type of person, nor would I would ever sit here and allow people to hold things over my head. The moment, and by the way, this has been happening for months, and every time, like, you know what I mean, we never went public with it, but I've also told this person, like, hey, listen, if we're going to, try to work this out i'm not into people trying to hold in things against me or over my head so whatever you think you could ever expose about me i'm gonna always say about myself and they always back down this and third today i felt like they crossed the line i'll tell you what happened today so today you know troy Ave, he's actually um he signed to the academy he gave me a six-figure deal this is not my money this is ain't this ain't this ain't backed by no iheart media none of that shit nigga this is my money like, I could use that money to do anything with, just take the whole six fingers and jerk my dick off with. I could do it, whatever I want. But I want to start building my company. I see a lot of people building what they got going on. I want to build my company. I'm glad that happened. That, that, was, a, like, that was a pause. I'm glad they, I'm glad it froze. So I say, yo, okay. Oh, cool. I thought that was I'm a computer. Four, five, my this is live. I could really ramp the bitch up. And I could really, especially after what I did this about? About thing, I said, I could really ramp this bitch up, invest some of the money, because I be gambling and losing a lot of money anyway. Let me invest some of the money and let's see what could really happen. So I, I, I took the money and I said, I bet I'm going to put a million dollars into investing in new ventures. This is why I respect certain people who be really investing in their own shit. And the reason why I'm saying that is because, man, it's easy to say another nigga paying the bill, man. It's the difference when you got to pay the bill, when you got to send the wire, when you got to pay the motherfucking, when you got to sit there and file the motherfucking, like, you know, payroll and all that. Yeah, it's different, nigga, because you know what? Unlike other niggas, I keep telling y'all, I've been doing this really successful my damn self. Okay, cool. So I've been doing it this year. Anyway, I'm just trying to tell you how we led to this because, like, there's a whole other story, but I just want to tell you why I'm here today. I'm going to skip the app session. I'm not going to lie to you. Let's figure out where the actual story um, is. Be whatever y'all want to think. I came in to tell the truth. Okay. So y'all going to say a lot of things about me that I might agree. Yeah, I did some dumb shit, because I, I even showed her. I'm like, shit, she fucking bugging me. I'm like, yo, all right, hey, look who I'm with, blah, blah. She started getting, yo, yo, you better, you better, be, like, she's shouting already. I'm like, yo, bro, chill, bro. Wait, you know, wait, 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 this is, yo, chat, yeah, I think, like, I think this is where the, um, the screaming match started from the last guy's video. Keep it real, chat, I ain't come here to look pretty, I ain't come here to be the, be whatever y'all want to think, I came here to tell the truth. So y'all gonna say a lot of things about me that I might agree. Yeah, I did some dumb shit, because I, I even showed her. I'm like, shit, she fucking bugging me. I'm like, yo, all right, hey, look who I'm with, blah, blah. She started getting, yo, yo, you better, you better, be, like, she's shouting already. I'm like, yo, bro, chill, bro. Like, you know, we doing content. Anyway, Troy Ave, like, you know, he's calling anybody. Troy Ave don't, Troy Ave don't know what's going on. He calling everybody. Troy Ave then calls, um, calls Wack. Wack been online on, on No Jumper Show talking about, like, Blueface don't fuck my girl. Now, 
some of y'all who watch me know who my girl is. Like, like that's her. Like, that, that would be the girl who, who would fit that mold or that title. But a lot of people really don't know who my girl is. Like, you know what I mean? Like, nigga, I'm not no relationship type nigga like that. Some people actually think I'm still dating Selena, my nigga. Like, that's just really what it is. Dating Selena? She over here, she now see white Selena. people pop up on the joint. She going crazy, bad shit. Yo, what the fuck? So she like shouting at him, blah, blah, blah. Why I can't even clarify to her, like, yo, yo, let me t- let me tell you the reality. Like, yo, Blueface said he fucked ax girl. I didn't say which girl, which is clear. This is like so easy and clear. He's basically saying, like, to me, I take it as it's just content. Blueface fucked my girl, but it's not, it, like, Wack himself is saying it's not the girl I'm with. I know Blueface said online, but it's not her, right? She's still wilding on me. I'm like, bro, like, yo, just chill out, my nigga. Like, bro, like, you could tell, like, Wack not even really on that. You was you want me to press him or some shit? Like, he not really on that. Any, anyway, long story short, Almost she getting it. the feelings because now she's like, yo, you not going to press these niggas over me, this and third, because, again, the main character syndrome. Shorty going to send pictures or really, like, weird things of me to niggas like Adam22 and Troy Ave. She's like, oh, I'm going to show these niggas that really I'm your bitch and I got pictures of you that nobody would want to see. And I'm like, this is, oh, no, the story. This is facts. But I never, like, I paid so much and I lost so much, and I was the victim of this, that when I seen a bitch who's supposed to be with me trying to hold shit against me, that got nothing to do with me, bro, I've been looking at her different from a while ago. 50 guns, I have them in my house. That's a fact. So when they're coming in, remember, they're serving a search warrant. They, they, they got in their computer system. They got 50 guns. We got to come in a little bit. They knocking on the door, whatever, whatever. My mama, who's upstairs with my dog, and then I'm downstairs, like I'm playing Fortnite, some shit. My mama don't know what's going on. Listen, bro. They're asking her to open the door. My mama don't know. I remember the only thing my mama screamed out, she was like, like she called me Junior because I got my same name as my father. She said, Junior, get the gun. Because she think, she heard the story. This is after niggas try to break in. So she's telling me, yo, baby, like, yo, I think niggas is coming again. Like, get the gun. It wasn't that. It was the cops. I'm downstairs. I always have a gun with me in my house. I don't care. I sleep with a gun under my pillow every time I sleep with two guns. Anybody know me? If y'all go to my crib, there's guns galore. Two guns. Cool. I see it, and by the way, my, on my phone, it pops up. It pops up that the police is outside, and I see them because I got secure. I got cameras everywhere. My mama don't know how to work the shit in my crib. Like, this is my crib, nigga. She don't know how to work it like that. So I seen it. Anyway, I put my gun away because I seen it was the police. By the time I walk upstairs, the police kick my door down. By the way, these are expensive doors. I live in a mansion. It's a $2 million house. These doors cost me $25,000. They kick my door down. The reason they kicked it down, when they're telling and shouting for my mom to open the door, my mama don't open the door because she's like, what the fuck is going on? Bet. They come in, tell everybody to get down. We all get down. They put us in cuffs. By the way, Cheyenne is there too. And this is what she thinks is some shit that she can hold against me. They put everybody in cuffs. I'm in cuffs. Even my mama is in cuffs. We're all sitting there. What's going on? I'm like, I'm still wondering, like, what's going on? I'm like, yo, what's up with y'all? Like, what's good? Nobody tells me nothing. Anyway, they ask me if I want to go down to the station. I'm like, I still, I really have no idea what's going on. I do go down to the station. Bro, I go down to the station and I get, I, I, I get kind of really what they're doing. Okay? So, I'm going to make a long story short, but this is the reason why my house got... You keep saying you're going to make a long story short. We heard, like, three different storylines and, like, I don't even know where the first one started. And, okay, I'm just, let's go, let's keep going, let's keep going. And this is this is gonna be a lesson to all of y'all. And if y'all watch me and y'all watch me talk about all these stories, I've been trying to give y'all these insights without telling y'all that I've been through some shit. They Why don't you just my tell house us. You tell us everything because else. Because so there was a woman that came to my house. That woman claimed she was sexually assaulted. Here we go. Not by me. Here we go. By other people. Here we go. But it happened in my house. I'm going to tell you why they raided my house. Here we go. Shorty, I should even tell a whole full story. Let me just tell a full story. Okay, finally. Let me tell a full story. And, and I'm going to tell you exactly why the cops came. Okay. Bet. 
a shorty I'm dealing with, she comes over. She comes over, right? No, actually, and this is why you will keep hearing her say, because she don't know the real story. The, it, the, so one day, yeah, I know I work a lot. One day I'm like, I tell my niggas, I say, yo, I want to get drunk today. And my nigga, Adrian, uh, um, Antonio Brown invited me to a pool party. I tell my niggas to even drive my cars. I say, yo, drive my car. I'm about to get drunk. That's how you know I'm definitely about to get drunk. Because I'm like, yo, I'm telling niggas drive my car. Anyway, I go to the party. Um, it, it's like a day party type shit. Antonio Brown, we did. He performing, blah, blah, blah. I'm, I'm already drunk. There's a girl texting me that I haven't seen in a year. She said she want to come through. Cool. I said, whatever, whatever, whatever. Yo, we're going to leave the party around 8, blah, blah, blah. Da, da, da. You can come through. I'm going to send you a lift. I swear, I got so drunk. By the time I leave the party, I my niggas drove me home. Or I think we went to Wendy's and we went home. By the time I'm so fucking drunk, when I get home... I go to my, I go, I walk, and I'm swear this is a whole story. I promise you, I can't lie. Okay, so I, tell I, us. I can't believe a bitch tell I us. really laid with, and I really trust, and I bought everything in the fucking world would ever even try to okay. play me like this. Okay, tell us. Because she, I've told her the story. Because mm -hmm. maybe, yes, now I tell us the story. Her. Like me and her fell out, she went back home, and I went to a party, and I hit up another bitch. Yes, the other chick came over. I'm mad drunk. Yo, I'm drunk at a party. I come home. Yo, I'm so drunk. I'm, I ain't drive my own car. I walk upstairs to where my master bedroom's at, and I fall out. <laughs> this is what I'm... Uh, Y'all gonna see what the lesson is in this. Yo, I just pass out. I forgot I Ubered a bitch to my crib. I forgot, nigga. I'm drunk. My nigga, 4 a.m. comes. Remember, I'm, I'm at my crib at 9. 4 a.m. comes. I'm knocked out. 4 a.m. comes. My homie... I, I never see the girl. I never see her. My homies wake me up on some shit like, yo, act. We leaving. I'm like, oh, shit, damn. I was fucked, like, damn, I'm fucked up type shit. Like, yo, I've been sleeping. They're like, yo, lock the door because we're leaving. I said, damn, y'all leaving? They're leaving at like 4 or 5 a.m. I right, bet. I go and I go lock the door. Then they say to me when I'm locking the door, they say, oh, by the way, that girl you invited, yo, she down there and the other end of your house in the guest bedroom. I look at them and I said, what girl I invited? They said, bro, remember you invited a girl? Nigga, I'm so confused because I was at a party with, with Antonio Brown, nigga. I'm macking it, nigga. Like, you got all these bitches, they all on me and shit, type shit. I'm like, please, but well, them bitches was ugly. No, no disrespect. I'm just telling you the story out of this. I'm like, no way I invited one of them girls at the party back to my crib. Them girls was busted. No way. They was like, no, nigga, remember the girl you... I said, what are you talking about? They said, yo, you know so-and-so, and they describe myself. Oh, shit. Anyway, they leave. I go, I, I walk down the, the hallway. I walk down the hallway. <laughs> Nigga, I'm a, by the way, for shorty who thought she was going to hold this against me, I'm going to always tell the truth that I don't care what nobody says. And by the way, what I'm going to tell y'all is something that could happen to any nigga. And by the way, y'all know what y'all going to say to me, like I should be my homies and shit like that. I'm a sucker for that, too. Let me see, look at We're going to talk about it. Anyway. So I go down the hallway to my guest bedroom, and I see the girl. And I said, oh, shit. But I noticed this couple things. First of all, she naked. Second of all, her hair is, like, like frizzy and shit like that. This is the summertime. Like, almost like she kind of went in the pool type shit. I got a pool. Like, it's a big-ass pool. Anyway, I'm like, yo, what's good with you? Like, I'm waking her up type shit. Like, yo, you sleeping? Like, what's up? Anyway, I go downstairs. She kind of realized I'm there. She wakes up. She come downstairs. She was telling me about some other shit she wanted to get me with. Like, this is before I was really on Afrobeats. Like, I don't want to dox her neither because she ain't, she, she know what it is. She ain't never say no weird shit. This is why it's so crazy that this is the girl that I've been, and I really, I think it's because she mad because I cheated on her type shit. It's her trying to use this against me. It's not the girl that was really in it. So anyway, that girl woke up. And by the way, you know, I hate to tell this part because it's going to make her look crazy. And that's why I, would, I, I refuse to give out that girl's name. Okay. So she, um... So it's the nighttime, whatever, whatever. Um, I remember saying, like, damn, what was y'all doing when I was sleeping type shit? She was like, oh, shit, now nah, we were just having fun, blah, 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 Now, granted, this is a girl who I've been dealing with for a couple of years. I've messed with her for years. Um, 
when she came over that time, she had told me she was like a dancer, some shit like that. You know what I mean? And I remember, and I don't know if maybe my niggas took it the wrong way, because I remember she had told me she was like, yo, the girl you used to know, like I'm on my like I'm on some bad girl vibes now, type shit. Like basically she was like doing her thing. And I remember I told him, I'm like, yo, oh, this is before when I was going to the party, I was like, yo, I'm about to get this girl coming over later for me. But she, she told me she on some different vibes. I don't know if that's what they took. And, and, and I can't really speak to other niggas' thing. I can only speak to myself. All right, bet. Cool. We're in the morning now. We're in the morning. And once the morning happened, and I remember even that night, like that night when she woke up, I went go in my backyard and I'm like, something don't look right back here. I'm like, yo, what's up? Like, what was y'all doing when I was sleeping type shit? Because I know, like, if you, nigga, I live in my crib, Dolo, nigga. Like, don't get no ideas, but Dolo, nigga, like, Nigga, I know when my okay, I know the, the chair to tan is right there. I know this is right there. And I'm like, I go in the backyard. I'm like, why this is over there? Why this is over there? This shit don't make no sense. So I I asked her and she was like, nah, we were just having fun type shit. That's what she told me tonight. In the morning, I got to let my dog out. So I go let Pluto out. And when I go let Pluto out, I'm now outside standing. I'm like looking around I'm like, man, this shit don't look right. Here's the thing. I got cameras everywhere in my crib, and this is the, this is the reason why y'all gonna realize the raid. Yeah, th this is the raid. The cameras, and this is uh, like I'm telling y'all now that y'all could hear the whole story. Bet. So now I'm sitting there. This is the morning. I'm looking around. I'm like, what the fuck? I know my backyard. Something ain't right. She's telling me they were just chilling, having fun, waiting for me, type shit. But I'm sleeping, and. I'm sleep from like 9 8, 9 p.m. since I got in the crib, and they don't wake me up till 4 a.m. That's how many hours? Seven hours. Okay. Anyway, remember for, when she told me the night before, I'm believing it. But the day, but, but in the morning, I'm looking around when I'm letting Pluto, I'm like, something don't sound right. I go on my, I, I go on my, I go on my, my, my camera, I go to my, my, my DVR, I, I'm looking what's going on. Gang. This is facts, and I'm not trying to make her look crazy, and I'm not trying to put her in no type of weird position. This is reality. Brother, this is a girl who I've been dealing with for, like, two years on and off. We not steadily, like, we, we were, like, you know, hang out, hang out, hang out, not really hang out, hang out, hang out, hang out, not really hang out, that type of shit. You feel me? She ain't, she, she's actually, a, like, a really good girl. Like, she's a girl who kind of gives, like, really nice energy, like, not one of them, like, sexy red type choices, like, not to disrespect her either. When I look at my camera in the morning, what you dang, see? What do you see? What do you see? Like the shorty mm -hmm. was getting like I, I don't even I don't even like what? The, the, she was getting trained by my two mans. Like on my pool deck the night before when I'm sleeping. I bet as this would happen. Nigga, I couldn't believe it. I'm like, what? Nigga, I invited you over here. I paid a lift. The lift was like 200 bucks. Nigga, she lived. I don't even want to say where she lived. $200? Like, How did you with? come to my joint and get trained by my mans while I'm sleeping? Now, this is where I'm going to be honest with you. Men, y'all going to learn this lesson from me. And, and, and this is sincere. $200 for an Uber is crazy. Like, like it's crazy. Like, And then she got $200 back. Crazy. Men, I want y'all to learn this lesson from me. And I will say this, and tears might come in my eye when I say this to you. Okay. You could get penalized for being a good guy. I never knew nothing was ever going on. I was sleeping. I was sleeping. So when I seen this shit, I'm kind of offended. I'm like, damn, when I talked to her last night, she ain't never told me. And, when I, and, and, and this morning, I feel a certain type of way. So I go down to where I used to play Fortnite, and she come down, and like she like covered up and she was just like yo last night was fun like she was kind of like mad jovial about like what happened the night before but i feel a way because i've seen it on my camera i said yo you just got trained by my mans i called you like i set the shit for you to come here why'd you okay bet i ain't say nothing to her first we then go upstairs to my kitchen and she's still acting like ain't nothing happened so i'm kind of throwing a little hint to that i'm like yo I'm like, damn, I'm like, y'all can't believe y'all ain't wake me up type of shit last night. Like, what, uh, what happened? You know what I mean? She was like, nah, we were just having fun, blah, 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 blah. And now I'm feeling disrespected because I'm like, yo, does she not know that I, I seen this shit? Like, bro, so, so I asked her one question, and this is facts, facts, my nigga. I said, do you know, I, I said, any everything you did last night, right? I said, you wanted to do, right? 
because you know j- just off like because she's acting like nothing happened and i'm like everything you wanted to do right and she said to me yeah i had fun yeah, everything was cool I- i'm a little tight and by the way y'all, yeah, some of y'all gonna hear the story and be like act you cause this on yourself because maybe y'all can say tender dick or whatever because i could just said nothing and i would have never been in these problems because sometimes when a girl is intoxicated or whatever she is Bro, sometimes it's you shaming her that caused her to do some shit, nigga. So, she's like, nah, everything is cool. But I'm feeling the way, because I'm like, really came to my crib and just fucked my niggas and really think I don't know type shit. Like, so I said, I said, I said, damn. I said, I ain't gonna lie to you, man. I'm like, yo, y'all made a motion video last night, man. In reality, I said, y'all got a whole video of, of, of whatever happened. And she was like, what are you talking about? She's, I, I still think she playing dumb. I'm like, I said, bro, you know, it's all good. I ain't tripping. I'm like, I'm going to try to make sure, yo, you good, whatever you did last night. And, you know, I ain't think you was that type of girl, but fuck it. It's cool. She was like, why are you acting like that? Because now I'm acting distant. She's like, yo, why are you acting like that? I'm like, I'm, I'm getting mad now because now I'm thinking like, yo, you're playing with me. You're acting like I don't know. You're acting like, bro, this is my house. I told, I tell everybody when they come to my house. Every video, every audio is recorded. They got more cameras in my house than the motherfucking casino, bro. So I'm like, all right, bet. So I, I tell them, like, yo, really? I'm like, yo, it's cool, bro. Like, I see you, you fuck my niggas type shit. She said, nah, I never fuck your niggas. Really? Bro, you did. No, I didn't. She was like, I ain't gonna lie. Like, I probably got naked and, like, twerk for them, but I ain't never fuck them. Already, I'm thinking, like, I know you lying now because you're admitting to get... First of all, why would you even get naked for my niggas? <laughs> if you came for me, you don't know the niggas who came... Whatever, cool. I bet. So, I show her, I'm like, yo, bro, you don't got to lie to me. It's cool. Like, I get it. Like, we... Like, this is the first time I've seen her, like, in a year. I said, you don't got to even lie to me. Nigga, I even show... I show her on my phone. I said, bro, look, right there. She got another excuse. She said, oh, nah... So it was a video of her naked in my pool, bent over by the, the, the deck, and then one of my niggas got his dick out. Like, pause. I'm sorry I've got to give you all the details, but I keep telling you, somebody can't ever put dirt on my name without me telling the truth. So I said, bro, like, look at this right here. She was like, uh, uh, like, at first, she was like, uh, uh, yeah, he might have took his dick out. Like, I think he rubbed his dick on my pussy, but I never, I'm like, yo, bro, you really lying to me right now. So I ain't even gonna hold you, nigga. I scrolled in the video, nigga. I got the video in my shit. I scrolled in. I said, bro, here's a video of him fucking you. Then I scrolled again. I said, here's the video of him <coughs> fucking you and you sucking off my other man's. Oh, what? What? Now, now, this, now the story changed. The story now becomes, uh, oh, oh, what? Oh, I didn't know that. When she apologetic, she's like, yo, you gotta believe me. Like, yo, I, like, I would have never did that. Like, yo, shit, I'm so sorry. I would have never disrespected you like that. Like, yo, I came here for you, this, that, and third. Anyway, my mama had to come that day, like, on some real shit. I ain't even bullshit. My mama was coming to my crib. So it's not only, like, usually when that girl comes to my crib, she stays a couple days. Like, I ain't even bullshit. She usually come stay a couple days, bring clothes. But my mama was coming that day, so it wasn't because I was salty. And, you know, if y'all don't believe that, y'all believe that. But that's really what it was. So I told her, I'm like, bro, I ain't gonna lie you. You gotta go, yo. So... She's looking at me like, damn. And she said it. She said, damn, yo, you mad cold with me right now. She's like, usually you get me breakfast and shit. Like, why are you so cold? And I'm like, nah, my mama got come in here like, yo, you got to go. Bro, she's automatically, like, looking at me like, oh, shit. Oh, you really think it? So she's apologizing like, yo, I, believe me, I'm not that type of girl, blah, 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 blah. Anyway, and, and we're going to get to the raid. I call her car. She leaves. She calls me in the car. She says, yo. I'm sorry, I don't want you to ever think I'm that type of girl. I came there to hang out with you. Like, and she even said this verbatim. Why would I come there and fuck your friends and not you? Like, why would I come there and fuck them f- instead of fucking you? Like, like, come on, like, does it make sense? Like, now, this is her apologizing. Cool. When she gets home, and I'm going to be honest with you, this is the, I think, I promise, I, I, honestly, to this day, I, I still think I fucked up by doing this. Because I'm shaming her now. I'm shaming her. I said to her, I said, yo, I'm going to keep it up being with you, bro. And you came to my house and had two niggas just fuck you raw. I ain't seen no condom, no nothing. I told her, I said, yo, you should go get tested, man. Like, you done. 
I said, that's wild, yo. You should go get tested, bro. And from that moment, she started, like, because she the denial shifted, and she kept, like, trying to, like, pivot on the denial to, yo, nah, send me the video. Yo, I'm pretty sure I didn't fuck him. And I'm like, bro, you fucked him. And she was like, no, 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 look again. And I, now I'm getting super tight because I'm like, bro, I'm not about to watch this video of you getting fucked, my nigga. Like, it's on my surveillance. Like, bro, like, I was fucking with you. Like, what, you want me to watch the video of you getting fucked? Cool. She keeps saying that, whatever, whatever. She then tells me, by the way, I, I ain't gonna lie, and I'm gonna keep it a being about everything. My homies did not tell me they fucked her. At that point, I only seen on my security camera. My homies did not tell me. Remember, they woke me up that night. Yo, let, let us out. Let's let us out the crib uh, or lock the crib. They did not tell me they fucked the bitch that came for that me. That is they never told me that. You know when, when that conversation happens? Shorty now says to me, Shorty now says to me, um, yo, I'm gonna keep it keep it a bean with you. Like I really don't believe I would really do that. I'm not that type of person. Yo, you're right, I should go get tested. Remember, I, I told her to get tested, right? I think and that's why I said, like, maybe I fucked up by like cause now I'm making her seem nasty, right? Like, yo, go get tested. What the fuck? She said, Yeah, I'm gonna get tested and yo, you know, I'm gonna get a rape kit. I tell her, I'm like, nigga, I'm like, yo. Yo, get a rape kit. Like, so good. Like, yo, whatever. I said, whatever you got going. But she keeps asking me, like, yo, could, like, are you sure what happened after this? How did both of the guys get there instead of one? Because I remember talking to him, but I remember the other guy. And I'm like, bro, I'm not watching this. So now I'm getting I'm getting defense. I ain't watching that shit no more, gang. I'm not watching this shit. Okay. That's the last time I talked to her. The next time I talked to her, she asked me one random day, like three days later. Yo, could I get your friends' names and numbers? Bro, you still trying to, like, I say, yo, you fucked them. You can't get their name and numbers? Why the fuck you need me to get their name and number? I don't know. Like, come on, bro. Why you keep asking my niggas you don't fuck? This man is tight. Yo, could I get their names and numbers? This man was tight. Bro, I say, you know, because she keep wanting to say, I want to know what exactly what happened. Do you sure nobody used the condom? I said, bro, from the video I seen, I ain't seen them niggas use the condom type shit. By the way, here's the thing, and, I keep, and for the guys who's watching, this is what being a good guy gets you. Because I could have acted like nothing happened. I could have just chalked it to the game, which I probably should have, and be like, that's a girl. You know how girls are. Yo, I've thought about this a million times. I really think that me making her feel some shame made all this happen. Because... The day after, when she walked up to me, she said she had fun. And I'm the one feeling the way, like, bro, you had fun fucking other niggas, bro? So this is what I'm trying to tell you. Being a good guy, cut that shit out, man. Don't help no, like, bro, if it don't got to do with you, man, let everybody get out of the mud. Fuck that shit. So anyway, she keep asking, send, she say, yo, I want to see the video. I'm, I keep telling her, I'm not going to keep watching the video where you're fucking my friends. You were supposed to be fucking with me. Okay. She asked me for my, my friend's names or whatever. I said, yo, you know, I'm going to give you my man's number. I said, whatever you want to know about that night, he fucked you, you go talk to him. Y'all go talk, okay? All right. When I get home, I was coming from my studio, and when I get home, 20 minutes after I get home, that's when the raid happens. My mama's screaming. She she's saying, "Get the gun!" I'm looking on my shit. I can see it's police. I put my gun away. I lock the other way. Gun and guns crazy. away. They the put me and my mom connected to this story. They bring me down to the station. I don't know at this point. I don't know what it's about. They're asking me about the situation. Yo, what's what? Blah 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 blah. Let me tell you why they did the raid and why they did the search warrant on my crib. And this is another thing. Yo, after that, bro. Like, even to this day, right now, I, I pay $4,000 for an apartment I don't go to. I got an apartment right now I do not go to because I refuse to bring people back to my crib. I'm going to tell you why. The reason why they did that search warrant, the reason why they kicked the door for my, 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 my fucking The only reason I'm getting annoyed is because why does keep, like, telling us how much stuff, like, how much everything is worth? Like, get it together. And they kicked my door off. Well, obviously, my mom didn't open the door. It was just did what they had to do. But they kicked it off because they felt like my mom, you know, like a stalling or some shit. The reason why they did that is because Shorty went to the cops and the cops reading and listening to her side of the story. They're saying, oh, yeah, Shorty got R-worded.
academics got the tape. It's at his house, but he don't want to give up the tape. So that's their whole mentality. Act don't want to give up the tape. Everything is on my house is documented on tape. So they kicked my door off, took all my cell phones, took my DVR, and then they bring it down to the station. Also, here's the thing. Everybody knows me in my, like, like where I'm from. I'm like the popular nigga in my town. So now they bring it down there. Nigga, they even called me. I said, uh, like, because at first I was so bewildered. I didn't even know what was going on. By the way, I get, like, and I'll tell you the truth. This is facts. My nigga, I'm a, I'm a rich nigga, expensive nigga. My nigga, I spent 100000 I I got a 100000 See? This is what I'm talking about. Like, what does any of that have to do with the story? Like, okay. $1,000 retainer on a lawyer, and I, and I never got charged with nothing. But they serve a search warrant on my crib. So they serve a search warrant, and they, they, they interrogated me. So I got the best lawyer known to man. <laughs> no way, no. I get that lawyer. <laughs> We're trying to figure out what's going on. They're like, oh, we're investigating this sexual assault, alleged sexual assault. Long story short, and this is why Shorty, who thinks she got something over my head, bro, it's clear as day on tape. You feel me? Matter of fact, I, I still think the, the, the county got my DVR because I just got a new DVR. Um, by the way, they sent me all type of shit like, yo, act you good, like, nothing, nothing with you, like, you're straight. And here's the thing, my friends who's on the tape fucking the girl, they didn't get charged. It was like, yo, hey, listen, there isn't <laughs> enough evidence that showcased that you didn't want to fuck them. So the niggas didn't get charged. They raided my crib because it happened. And, and, and this is what the lesson I was trying to tell the niggas. Bro, don't invite, yo, I'm, yo, remember when I was talking to Kostanet about his shit? Nigga, you know this shit before then, right? This is why I had so much knowledge about it. I was that nigga that says everybody come to me because I'm the rich nigga with the big house. Y'all all come party at my spot. Nigga, nowadays, nigga, you not party in my spot for shit, nigga. Let's go to your shack. You not party <laughs> in my spot. You know what happens? Because every time when I That's close my eyes and I go to sleep, if somebody slips, somebody fall, something happens, they're going to put my address and I'm the owner of the crib and I'm supposedly liable. So... The, the, the ending of that story is they had the, they, 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 so they, they took all the shit from the crib. They got to buy new doors. The new doors, nigga, I live in a mansion. I don't like live wherever I live at. It's $25,000 for my new doors that I had to buy. Yo, what? What? No way. No way. I'm like, is he telling us a story or is he trying to disrespect us? What, what is he doing? If, like, what I'm is he like, doing, Chad? Like, it, shit, you know, act. You know, act, act is a cooperative. I'm helping them niggas with everything. They hit me saying, hey, yo, there's a password on the DVR. Nigga, here's the password. Go get it. <laughs> yo, they, at, then they were like, oh, we can't get in your phone. Oh, I'll come in with my lawyer and we'll open the phone. Nigga, I'll open the phone. Yo, there's nothing there. Bro, nobody gets charged, right? The case, there is no case because there is, like, literally... They basically, they even sent out a letter to everybody. They said, yo, yeah, we did an investigation. There's nothing there. Okay? And that's what this bitch really thinks she's holding against me. Nobody got charged. No case. Nothing happened. I am the person who's in the middle of this because shit happened at my house. I don't want to bring up or I want to say nothing about the young woman because she knows initially I was the person who she didn't even like, according to what she's saying, she didn't even knew no shit happened that night. And I brought it to her attention. Like, yo, bro, I think you should go get tested. Like, shit, I see what I seen on the camera. Like, yo, you gotta get tested. Bro, how you think you about to hold that against me, nigga? They ain't do a motherfucking thing. Oh, but I get it. Like, she's now looking at what everybody got going on. Oh, if people hear something about sexual assault, nigga. Yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah, they raided my crib because something happened at my house. I live in a mansion, and I used to invite mad people over. I invite nobody over now. I'm sorry. This is why when I meet y'all regular random people, and I'm like, oh, let's go to your house. I, <laughs> let's not. I've learned my lesson. I used to be like, nigga, people used to be in my crib, like in the pool, doing all type of shit. Nigga, you, my house, used to, I used to look at my house as a bachelor pad. I used to tell people, I say, yo, I spent. Okay, well, <clears throat> I'm not watching the video, the full video. Like, I'm pretty sure he's going to keep telling us that he's richer than us. But apart from that, 
those are the two videos. This one came out four months ago, and this one came out 15 hours ago. So, we we are I, I'm investigating this. We are going to figure out what's happening, right? We're going to figure this out. This is Operation DJ Academics. We got to make sure. I just want to figure out, like, who's right, who's wrong, because this is somebody's life we're talking about. This is somebody's, like, and this is... This is the female's life and her reputation and these are academics' life and reputation. This is people's life. So we're here to figure this out and we're going to make sure we see who's standing on business and who's not. But that was, oh my goodness, what in the world? Like, and I, and it's, you know what the craziest thing is? I had, I had, I asked the question. I literally just asked the question, like, what is happening? And then, you know. I know DJ Academics didn't respond to me, but it's okay. We still we still was able to get our response, our answer. So I'm satisfied. I don't know if DJ Academics is satisfied, but but yeah, that is the this is this is what I like doing. Like the news source and you know, gaming sports, all that. This is what this channel is about. DAK Live. Thank you all for tuning in. I have a question though. Who do you guys think is in the right? You heard both sides. And if you guys didn't hear it, I'll put the um links down below so you guys can go check it out yourself and we can investigate together. But Operation DJ Academics has started and we're going to figure out what is going on. But apart from that, thank you all for watching. Thank you for supporting. Love you all. Stay safe.